Hello and welcome. My name is Robert Lyon. I'm here with Gino Nadarov. Today, we're going to be talking about the power of trade line. Trade line's all about boosting your credit. It's like a, a special credit booster. Trade lines are, have a, a value where they are basically other people's credit reports or credit history or credit age that you're able to uh, leverage in this case and use for your own self. Uh, the value of trade lines is that it provides uh, you know, it's, it provides a shrink in time. So if you're if you're if you're looking to get your credit fixed, if you're looking to get funding, it helps you hack that system and go beyond uh, the the regular time frame that it will take you to get to uh, from A to Z. And I mean, trade lines really blew my mind. I guess what I heard was when I was growing up, it's like, oh, if it's like your dad or your your cousin or somebody has good credit and they co-sign you onto your credit card, your credit's going to go up, right? So that was like the little bit of information yeah. that I got. And then we started doing what we're doing now, which is getting people, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it turns out that you can literally borrow somebody else's credibility, right? So credit stands for credibility. And the superpower is if somebody else has like an 800 credit score, has had a relationship with the banks for like 20 years, and their credit card is like a $30,000 credit card. If they say you're credible by signing you on as an authorized user, uh, the banks, the bureaus are going to say, okay, well, then we're going to boost his credit score. And it's actually going to affect everything. You want to go over the five yeah, factors yeah. of so, credit? Uh, basically, you know, and uh, just to, just to kind of like uh, uh, touch on what you said, the, the fact that you are using, you know, your, 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 your dad, your sister, whoever else, your brother that has good credit, they're, they're essentially what you're, you're doing. The banks are looking at your credit and they're saying, okay, you may not have good credit, credit but you are now an authorized user on this other person's credit report. And that person's credit, ha you know, our history is a lot better than yours. And this individual is allowing you to use this account. And as a result, that all that good credit history is being transferred to you. And that's the value or the power of, of trade lines. Now, the trade lines, they affect, you know, the five factors of credit. Uh, so the five points of credit are credit uh, history, credit mix, credit utilization, uh, your new credit, and you have your uh, payment history. So the, all five credit uh, factors are involved in your trade lines. So whenever you get trade lines, essentially you, you, you're you able to, uh, in, uh, in, es in essence, affect your credit report. And your credit report, like we said, is the five factors of credit. And those five factors are related to your credit mix, your credit utilization, your new credit, your payment history, and your, uh, your actual, uh, you know, your debt, if you have actual debt on your credit. So you want to be able to affect all these three in age. So if your age is young, if you have a new credit and you only have one to two years, you want to be able to increase the age. And by doing so, you're essentially uh, creating credibility. And by creating credibility, you're also uh, creating a, a illusion to the bank that you are now in a good, credible state. And you are now credible to be given a credit line, a credit card, a loan, a car loan, a house loan, all these you know, things that we want, it allows you, it opens the doors for you. Um, also, credit utilization. If your credit is, you know, util utilized, let's say you used up 80 or 70% or 90% of your credit, you know, you can go off and pay those debt down. And let's say you owe 30 or 40 or even less, 20,000, right? Uh, 10,000, essentially, you can pay that down and bring your yep. utilization down. However, spending $10,000 to pay one credit card off is not the best use of your money. So as a result, you can essentially buy these trade lines or rent these trade lines for a month of, you know, three months, for example, and you can use those for that period of time. And it, what, this, the price of paying for trade lines would essentially give you access to hundreds, and if not thousands of dollars of of, of, of credit or lines of credit that you didn't have compared to if you just paid off that initial debt that you originally uh, you know was going to do in, in order to minimize your utilization. Um, one thing you can't do is you cannot increase credit history or credit age. And the way you can't do that by just, you know, buying, uh, getting a credit card or getting a loan, or if you're young, if you're 18, you know, you can't get older, you know, so you cannot, you know, age doesn't, doesn't, isn't, isn't really something that time is not something you can affect, uh, you know, uh, unless you wait. Now waiting, you know, could take you years, right. To get that credit mm -hmm. history. So instead of getting the, the, the waiting for your credit to improve or giving you that, uh, credit, uh, age, you rather go off and purchase this age, basically being able to buy time in your credit history is 
an, an ex exceptional way to improve your credit and is the most powerful way that trade lines can uh, can essentially make that happen now instead of three or four, five years from now. I just was thinking, I want to drop some value in this. So it's like the, the main things that we buy trade lines for is amount of credit, right? And then also uh, your, your history, like Gino just said. So let's say you have, you know, $20,000 of available credit, but you've used uh, 15,000 of it, right? So you only have 5%. That would mean your utilization is at 75%, okay? So we would have to basically buy three trade lines or four trade lines at $25,000 each. And then that would lower your utilization down to like 5% or something like that. And in order for us to get you the maximum amount of funding, we typically want to be below 7% of utilization, right? If you have, if like the banks only like to loan to people that don't need money, it's, that's what they do. If you have your credit score personally uh, is above 7%, you can either pay off all your debt, which is, you know, a shitload of money. Usually it'd be 15 grand, right? In the, in the hypothetical situation, or you can buy trade lines and each trade line is about a thousand dollars, right? So you could probably buy 3000, three trade lines, right? And then boost your, your amount of available credit. And then bam, now your utilization is lower. You're fundable. Plus you have all this extra credit. Plus you have the age from the credit cards. Now we can go into funding. Now we can get you the maximum amount. So again, the main thing with trade lines is to help your utilization and to help your age. You literally can't do anything if you're, the age of your, your available credit, like, other than get old and wait. Like nobody wants to wait though to get their money, right? We're all old already. Like we want to get paid today, right? So if you really want to get paid fast, this is how we do it. We buy these trade lines and we go. And I was yeah. thinking though, you know, like we're, we need to make a checklist for like what people, what what things need to be in order. Uh, to basically get the maximum amount of funding. It's like right. utilization, less than 7%. Age of your history, history of your credit, whatever, however you say it, needs to be seven years is what I've heard, basically. Seven years plus. Uh, you need no negative items, like or maybe like one or two negative items, no bankruptcies, none of the big collections, you know? Uh, and then what else is there to go into funding? Yeah, well, your main, yeah, the, have a the, job. The, the age, the age is important. The most important is the age. And the second factor is the utilization. So effectively, effectively utilizing your credit and providing that uh, utilization, dropping the utilization, uh, but also uh, the credit mix. Credit yeah. mix is, you know, there's a lot of credit trade lines don't just affect two factors. They affect all five. That includes yeah, I guess the mix. You know, your yeah. mix is very powerful. Your payment history as well. Yeah. Like if you have, a, if you get a trade line that's, seasoned the seasoned trade lines where we don't we don't ask you to purchase you know these cheap trade lines that they sell off the market or wherever you know you go find on instagram or say social media they're trying to sell you don't go buy those trade lines because those trade lines yeah, those are, are gonna sketchy. if anything they might even hurt your credit because what you need is a unique payment history that is good payment history for right. over over seven years and then we can get you 12 15 20 years of payment history right? That's number one. Then you have a credit mix. We're able to get multiple type of cards, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, Elon, Navy Federal. I mean, we're talking about major banks here. And, and this is, you know, this is like top tier, tier one banks, tier two banks. You know, we're talking about high level banks. On top of that, you're also increasing your credit history. And a credit history is, uh, you know, the, the age and also the utilization. So you're hitting all five factors. And uh, every factor that you're essentially uh, using is going to help your boost your credit. Now, also, if you have if you recently applied for credit, you need to. There's nothing you can do about it. You cannot unapply. <laughs> you know, right. and once once that account hits your credit report, unless you call and say, "Hey, this is not my account," and the account gets closed and taken off, otherwise, you are now your credit age is dropped by a year two, maybe three, right. and you're no longer in a five or six, seven year mark. You're now in a one or two year mark and you cannot do anything about it unless you buy trade lines. There's nothing else that would change it, uh, unfortunately. But fortunately, you can do something and you can buy them. And, the, and we have access to the seasoned trade lines that have been around for years that are available for you to buy. And you can use this to benefit your credit and allow you to access money that you didn't have. And the fact that you can do this now, instead of waiting, you know, year, two, three, in order to get that credit age, because all five factors have to be in place. You can't just have utilization is good. Your mix is good. Your payment history is good. You know, your, uh, your, your new credit is good, but then you have no history. 
right? Or right. if your history is good and you have no mix, you can't get credit. If your if your if your history is good and your mix is good, you have no utilization. Your utilization is too high. You're not going to get credit. Now, if your utilization is good, you you know you have your payment history. If you have a good history, but you don't have uh, you know, for example, um, your actual credit uh, payments or payment history is not good. If you have late payments, uh, that's going to affect you. You get qualified, or get get loans, or get a credit card. So payment history is important as well. So it's all five factors, and the fact that these trade lines have no negativities, no derogatories, no late payments. They're aged. They have um, you know long term uh, value, and as far as like utilization, they're twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar trade lines, like limits. If you have a, if you, if I get your thirty thousand dollar trade line right now, Robert, your credit score will boost up by 20, 30 points. If I get you a hundred thousand dollars, your credit score will boost up by seventy five to hundred points. I mean, we're talking about massive improvements on your credit report, and then, then you're able to go off and buy, buy, uh, you know, get those those loans, get those credit cards, get those lines of credit for your personal and your business. Now, remember, business is the value here is, you know, we're not just telling you to go fix your credit and get this trade line for your personal use. No. This is value that's added to your business. Now, if you have a business and you want to access money, you need your credit to be solid. It needs to be, uh, you know, 750 and above, you know, minimum to get that good lines of credit. And in order to get you there, we got to get these trade lines. You think you can do it for vehicles and houses too? You think that's a thing? So essentially, you there, there's, uh, you know, there's the, I wouldn't say like not a myth, but there's a, you know, there is stories of being able to get access to these trade lines for like a car loan or a house, for example, adding you as authorized user to a house, adding you as authorized user to a car loan. Those will help you, uh, but they're not going to help your credit. Right, what I right, say right. is that because because when you even though your loans and your credit those those have factors and you in order to get a mortgage you have to have had a mortgage before or you you're or you're recently applying for a mortgage they're going to look at your what your credit now your credit is related to your credit history your credit utilization all that information anytime there's a word credit mm -hmm. that's when you're that's that's what they pull now when you get a loan a car loan they still look at your credit it doesn't matter if it's a if it's a car loan or not. So yeah. getting a car loan and being an authorized user on a car loan will only help you get a car loan. Right. Getting, a, getting a mortgage loan will only help you get a mortgage loan. Now, getting your credit uh, trade lines, credit trade line, which is credit cards, credit lines, this is going to help your credit and everything else is depending on your right. credit. Including so you're not just buying trade lines. You're literally buying the ability to go get the best rate on a house or the best rate exactly. on a car. Exactly. There you go. Yeah. And that's what matters the most is you're not, you're effectively affecting your rate. You're and, right. every, and I can tell you right now, if I can save you a one, two, 3% on your mortgage, how much money do you think I'm going to save you? Over two, three hundred thousand dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. If I got you a better rate on your car, how much money am I going to save you? Hundreds and thousands of dollars. Now, that's the fact, the power of credit and effectively being able to even affect credit in a, in such a massive way in a short period of time is un, un, unthought of, especially with trade lines that are seasoned. This is where, you know, the gold mine, you know, the, the back in the day when people were going gold mining for credit or for not credit for like gold. <laughs> yeah. Now, now this is a gold mine for credit that you yeah. And now have access because you're part of this community. And that's what I'm saying. This is not available anywhere else. You can go ask, uh, you know, all, anybody else that's selling trade lines. They will not have seasons here that we have over 10, 15, 20 years, seasoned trade lines, perfect credit history scores, uh, amazing trade lines that are going to be able to come to your credit. We make no money off this. This is purely for We also a a broker in a sense that we work with these uh, with this with this company that supports us in this in this venue and we're able to help you or our client by being able to transfer our discount we get a 25% discount i'm giving that to you so i'm giving my discount that i'm i'm getting from this broker i'm giving that to you in order to help you and your family to get access to money and now we can get you that 10 20 30 40 100,000 200,000 dollars worth of personal and business credit and you can pay yourself back for your trade line. You can pay yourself back for this for this program in general. And you need to be able to do this for your, for yourself. And we're trans, we're giving you that discount. We 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 want nothing on this. We want you we want to help you. And this is what it's all about. I love it. I think that was it, man. I think we nailed it. But yeah. yeah. If you want to get the trade lines, you want to get seasoned trade lines. You don't want to just get any of these BS mm -hmm. trade lines and the the age of the trade line, the size of the trade line, and what uh business we can talk about that for a sec what banking institution you get the trade line with matters because certain 
only certain banks will report to all three credit bureaus, right? So it's like Elon, uh, Navy Federal, Bank of America, Discover, all the rest of them, they'll, they'll, they'll only report to certain bureaus. So you won't even get the full effect of having really good trade lines unless you get the ones that are going to hit all three bureaus. So that's a really exactly. big... Uh, and and, and, and hitting all three bureaus is, is just as powerful as as uh, you know, increasing your credit score because yeah. it gives you the access to being able to get funded on all three bureaus. And we're going to hit all three bureaus when we fund you. We're going to get you access to all the money that we can, including personal and business on all three bureaus and being able to raise your credit in such a short period of time and get you access to business credit, business lines of credit, because your credit score is now better. You can go buy yourself a house, buy yourself a car at a better rate. Uh, we've already, you know, quadrupled the value that you've gotten. And that's the power of credit and trade lines are something that we give you and discount you with our own, uh, you know, our own good hearts that we want to give you when we have no value here for other than giving it to you. And then we are able to help you after that, after that point. Yeah. And that's actually one big thing I want to wrap up is if you buy a trade line from us, it affects your personal credit score. We don't, we don't get anything out of it. It's just for you, your credit score, your rates, your life, your ability to get funded. So Absolutely. that's all we got. Um, I think that was super helpful. Sure. Talk to you guys in the next one.